Hello and welcome. We're Lee and Wei in Beijing. Wei, I got a question for you. Yes. Um, is Bing Dun Dun a boy or a girl? Ooh, that's a tricky one. But I happen to know this. Dun Dun is neither a boy nor a girl. It's gender neutral. That's right. Apart from that, Olympic mascots are not meant to talk under the IOC guidelines. Mm -hmm. Bing Dun Dun is just so popular these days. It's been selling like hotcakes. Mm. And you know what? One of our colleagues just got <gasps> one yesterday. So jealous. I heard it's so dumb. Everywhere in China. Not only in China, a journalist from Japan has been a huge fan of Bing Dun Dun. You may have heard of him. His video went viral on the internet. He showed out his collection of Bing Dun Dun badges during the live show and excitedly promoted the mascot to a Japanese audience. I guess I've heard of him. Mm -hmm. He even named himself after Bing Dun Dun. Yeah, Bing Dun Dun is definitely a crowd favorite now at the Winter Games. Well, speaking of crowd favorite, mm -hmm. Eileen Gu <gasps> is a name that we can't miss. Oh my goodness, I love her. Who doesn't? She's winning everyone's heart. Yeah, she's pretty, she's talented, she works hard, she speaks two languages perfectly at the same time. She's so sweet. And she's only 18 years old and already won the Olympics. Mm -hmm. She's a straight A student and a fashion model representing a lot of top brands. Mm -hmm. But she still got attacked. Oh. Mainly by Western media. And mainly by US media. <laughs> she often got questioned about her citizenship. Some media even use words like traitor or ungrateful to describe her. But she responded, quote, I'm not gonna keep everyone happy. So smart. I'm not trying to keep anyone happy. I'm an 18 year old girl out here living my best life. Like I'm having a great time. You know, it doesn't really matter if other people are happy or not. I am doing my best. I'm enjoying the entire process. Actually, she's not the only one who gave up the American citizenship and compete for other countries. Mm -hmm. And for Gu, she just decided to join the citizenship of her mom's homeland. Mm -hmm. It's just her personal choice. And her human rights. <laughs> But actually, not only good, there are so many things that Western media are not happy with. Like what? Chinese food? I don't believe they can say anything bad about Chinese food. Like Peking duck? Or Kung Pao chicken? No way. Bingo. Mm -hmm. According to CNN, athletes, media, and other personnel mm -hmm. are complaining about the food inside the closed loop. Like they are not happy with the well done steaks. What? I only eat well done steaks for safety reasons. But they joke that steaks look like Beef jerky. Are you serious? I love beef jerky. Beef jerky is my favorite. <laughs> I strongly recommend jerky from Sichuan and Tibet. They're just so delicious, so you guys can't miss it. Everyone actually has his or her own preference for food, right? Like you love um, steak well done, and I prefer medium rare. <laughs> and I've seen lots of posts by the athletes from the internet showing their lives inside the bubble, aka the closed loop. In between competitions, uh, I've just been eating. So I've been killing the time because the food is so good. Check it out. We got the black pepper mushroom beef dish. Oh, sweet and sour pork. This is mixed vegetable cauliflower. It looks pretty interesting to me. Yes, and I'm impressed by the sleep rest cabin with zero gravity wow. and all kinds of robots. And besides, steaks are served well done due to COVID concerns. Mm. Some athletes are complaining about China's COVID restrictions, saying it's to quote, stringent and push all Olympians to their limits. Quoted by who? <laughs> well, it happened to be CNN again. US media are so picky this year. Even BBC is not so harsh this time. <laughs> True. You know, I'm a fan of CNN. Mm -hmm. I read a lot of CNN news every day. I just don't see anything positive about this year's Winter Games. I guess it's better to um, focus more on the games. Oh, by the way, do you know Yuzuru Hanyu? Of course, the Ice Prince. So sad he didn't win the medal this year, but we are so touched and inspired mm -hmm. by his devotion and commitment. Chinese audience and I believe audience from all over the world have given him a big thumb up. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is the right way to enjoy the Winter Games. Mm -hmm. But it's just not right to politicize or, say, um, nationalize sports. Exactly. And some media are just trying so hard to think of every possible point to attack the Winter Olympics or China. You know what? We're so busy covering the games already. <laughs> so true. But because of you, we, we have to OT! Please, give us a break. <laughs> Just enjoy the games. Mm -hmm. And that wraps up today's show. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.